for centuries, a secretive clan has operated many criminal organizations within Earthrealm. This clan, the Red Dragon, will stop at nothing to achieve their secret goals. This is the tale of top-ranking Red Dragon member, Mavado. Mavado is from Earthrealm. He's a high-ranking member of the Red Dragon Clan. His main objective has been to eradicate any members of the Black Dragon Clan. You are the one known as Shu Jingo. Greetings. I am Su Hao. I am an assassin and have been searching for someone in need of my talent. Find me employment and I will pay you a finder's fee. You know of an assassin for hire? I have been searching for such a man to use in infiltrating the special forces in Earthrealm. I am Mavado. Tell this Suhao to meet me near the waterfall behind the palace. You have found work for me? Excellent! I will meet Mavado. Here is your commission. Suhao is one of the Red Dragon clan, so he is definitely one of the bad guys. Su Hao is a Mongolian who the Chinese army did experiments on him and replaced most of his chest with machinery. In his quest to destroy the Black Dragon Clan, Mavado ordered his subordinate Su Hao, to pose as a member of the Chinese secret military, and aid the special forces in eliminating Black Dragon members. Meanwhile, Mavado would continue to hunt down members himself. It is rumored that Mavado acquired his preferred weapon, a pair of hook swords, from the former Black Dragon member, Cabal, after a vicious battle. Even though Cabal had only been a member of the Black Dragon for a short time, Mavado had sworn to eliminate him. And soon, every last member of the Black Dragon would be vanquished. It's over, Jarek. Shinnok is dead. The good guys won. You're coming back with me. Never, Sonya. I agreed to help defeat Shinnok, not turn myself into the special forces. The Black Dragon, live on! The Black Dragon died with Kano. You're the last one, Jarek. Never! Mavado would be approached by the Outworld Sorcerers, Quan Chi and Shang Tsung, who requested the aid of the Red Dragon. They needed to destroy the Special Forces Techno Portals to hinder their ability to travel to Outworld. In return, they offered the Red Dragon Sanctuary during the coming invasion. Mavado accepted their offer, and instructed his subordinate, Su Hao, to complete the task. In addition, Shang Tsung had one more request. If Mavado could eliminate the Earth Realm spy that Black Dragon member Kano had spotted in Outworld, Mavado could name his price. Shocked to find that Kano still lived, Mavado requested the chance to face Kano in Mortal Kombat as payment for slaying the Earth Realm spy. Mavado traversed to Outworld with the two sorcerers, and parted ways to search for the man they believed to be a spy from Earthrealm's special forces. Surprisingly, the first agent he encountered was Sonya Blade. Unknown to Mavado, the special forces gained access to Outworld with the help of the Thunder God, Lord Raiden. Mavado defeated Sonya Blade, and continued to hunt for the special forces spy that the Deadly Alliance felt to be a danger to their regime. It was not long before he was ambushed by Special Forces agent, Jax. Jax was in pursuit of Mavado's subordinate, Su Hao, for destroying the Special Forces base, when he recognized the mark of the Red Dragon on Mavado's back. Although Mavado was not the man he sought, 
Jax had no problem butting heads with another member of the Red Dragon. After a grueling battle, Mavado finally defeated Jax. He continued his quest for the Earth Realm spy, and finally discovered him in a town located high in the mountains. The spy was in fact the swordsman, Kenshi. The two warriors would square off, in Mortal Kombat. Anya searched for the missing Special Forces agent Kenshi. She finally discovered him, badly beaten and near death, apparently from hook-like wounds in his ribcage. In return for eliminating Kenshi for the Deadly Alliance, Mavado was finally granted his battle with the last known member of the Black Dragon, Kano. After a long, brutal fight, Mavado emerged victorious and all traces of the Black Dragon had been erased. Impressed with the fighting skill and discipline of Mavado, as well as other members of his clan, Quan Ching realized the potential the Red Dragon held for staging the eventual invasion of Earthrealm. In return for their continued assistance, he offered crucial information about a new threat to Mavado's Red Dragon clan. Su Hao reported to his superior Mavado and informed him of his success in destroying the Special Forces Outer World Investigation Agency. Mavado then informed Su Hao of his next objective. It seemed that Quan Chi was proving to be a powerful ally and was willing to aid the Red Dragon in its quest for domination of Earth. In a show of good faith, Mavado agreed to destroy Quan Chi's enemies. The sorcerer suspected betrayal from Shang Tsung. There was evidence that Shang Tsung had allied with the two Oni, known as Moloch and Ramen. Su Hao's new orders were to eliminate the sorcerer Shang Tsung before the Oni eliminated Quan Chi. Jax had a score to settle with the traitor he knew as Su Hao. Now revealed to be a member of the Red Dragon, Su Hao had infiltrated the Special Forces Outer World Investigation Agency and destroyed it with a miniature nuclear weapon. Making good on his promise, Jax eventually caught up with Su Hao and ripped the implant from his chest in retribution. Su Hao died a most painful death. The ambitions of the Deadly Alliance would be interrupted by the return of the Dragon King. Once Mavado heard of their defeat, he and the rest of the Red Dragon would retreat back to the shadows. Mavado would then report to his Grand Master, Dagon. Dagon is initially Taven's younger brother. Taven! Dagon! You look older. I am older. Much older than you, big brother. Like Taven, he's also supposed to partake in this quest. And he was also put under a sleep spell and, and put into hibernation in the cave. But he was accidentally awakened too early. So he's been alive longer than Taven has. And so in effect, he's the older brother now because he's actually got many more years of life on him than Taven does. Taven is an Adinian half-god. His father is a god, like Raiden. His mother is a mortal sorceress. That looks like mother having one of her visions. And this must be father speaking with the elder gods. These sleeping figures might be my brother and I. He has a brother, Dagon, and he and his brother have been put on a quest by their parents that may ultimately save the realms from Armageddon. Taven. Dagon! You look older. I am older. Much older than you, big brother. So you were awakened long ago. Why are you here? This is my stronghold. Your stronghold? And these warriors? I formed the Red Dragon Clan many ages ago. There must be some misunderstanding. Your soldiers have been hunting me. There is no misunderstanding. For years, my clan has infiltrated every corner of Earthrealm searching for you. Scouting parties were placed in locations where you were likely to appear. At our parents' temples, for instance. I see you found your armor. I wear mine always. Why would you send your clan after me? Isn't it obvious? 
I intend to kill you. What? The prize will be mine, Taven. I will not risk losing it to you. Grandmaster, please excuse the intrusion. Speak, Mavado. Blaze has been found. Excellent. I must make preparations. See that my brother never leaves this stronghold alive. Mavado would put up a fight, but Taven would defeat him. However, Mavado would manage to escape, and he later would join the Dark Forces side on the battlefield at the Battle of Argus. Here, Mavado would fall in battle, as so many did that day, but would get another chance thanks to the timeline event induced by the Thunder God, Raiden. Due to the interference of the Thunder God, events would unfold differently. The Red Dragon would eventually ally themselves with the new Empress of Outworld, however, after an altercation between the Red Dragon and Black Dragon clans, led by Mavado and Kano, they fought over a couple Earthrealm hostages, and once the Black Dragon retreated, the hostages, Cassie Cage and Jackie Briggs, would subdue and eliminate Mavado. And that would be the end of Mavado till the creation of Fire God Liu Kang's new era. In this new era, Mavado would still become the right-hand man of Dagon and the Red Dragon. But again, Mavado would meet an unfortunate fate. To kill a snake, you cut off its head. Or in the Yakuza's case, its heads. Kenji said I couldn't do it. But he didn't know what I knew. That the family's bosses were meeting to talk shop and settle disputes. In one fell swoop, I could decapitate them all. As they nursed whiskey and negotiated, I waited. My moment came, then was cut short, when a fiery portal opened. Out of it stepped men I'd never seen before. And from the boss's low bows and averted eyes, I could tell they were the ones really in charge. Listening in, I learned they run the Red Dragon, an ancient clan secretly behind all of Earthrealm's crime families. I could crush the Yakuza, but these Red Dragon would simply replace it. Probably with something even worse. I'm facing a powerful new enemy in my war on the Underworld. One I never saw coming. And I've got to finish them. Or die trying. Mavado, of the Red Dragon Clan. Despite his masterful skills, and unique fighting techniques, he would seem to be destined to meet an early fate. So for now, this is where Mavado's tale comes to an end, in the legends, of Mortal Kombat. But you never know, what could be in store for the future, of the new era.